Hi guys, this is Karyalan Kunna. It's a Finnish traditional song. I am sorry for my two Finnish friends that are going to watch this for not doing the pronunciation too well because I didn't understand my own handwriting, you know? So I might have done some bad things. Anyway, the song is extremely beautiful. I have first heard it in Ensiferum's Finnish medley and then I searched it and I found it in so many ways, in so many uh, um, presentations uh, with instrumental, just pure cantele cover, only vocal cover, cover, no, what, what? No, these are not covers. When there is no copyright, there is no cover, you guys. In cantele presentation, vocal presentation, churchy organ presentation, guitar, uh, a bit more schlagery presentation, more classical presentation. There's everything, everything for anyone. And the common factor in all is the spirit of this song that doesn't change and that to me as a profane listener who barely understands what they are saying and what they are hearing, this song sits right, the, the theme itself, the harmonies, the melody, the harmony, it sits right in the middle between um, very mellow and uh, goosebumps, nostalgic, I don't know, almost like, you know, maternal spirit and a very proud one. Like proud of belonging there, proud of being a human product of a culture which gave birth to this piece of music. It's very unique to be demure and soft and proud, not in an exhibitive way, not in an in-your-face way, but very rooted, rooted and proud of being rooted, if it makes sense. That's what I feel with my ears, not with my brain, because I don't know what it says. It's Karelian Hills, I think, the title, and I think it's praising the nature and like communion between human soul and nature thematic family. Anyway, today's question comes from Philip Hoskin, our friend and colleague from the New Zealand. He loves motorcycle rides and competitions. And his favorite artist is Jasmine Kane, whose concerts he wants to see. And he asked, what is one thing on your bucket list that you want to do in your life? My own answer says that I don't have a bucket list, not in the way that I have seen bucket lists being presented on the internet and the way people talk about them, like I have to see this place before I die or I have to go bungee jumping before I die. It seems that bucket lists are usually made of um, very exotic places, visiting the, them and very risky activities, doing them. And I don't have that. My bucket list is very practical. I just want to and I have mentioned this before, to be able to drive a car without feeling stressed in a city, not only on a highway, not only on empty streets. I would love to be able to drive a car properly without putting myself to risk, without putting others to risk, without putting the commonwealth to risk, <laughs> the, 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 public, the public objects and fences and trees to risk and dogs. I don't want to do that. I don't want to harm anybody. I don't want to make disasters, I don't want to destroy the car and still I would love to be able to drive when other cars and other expressions of society like for example people are around, you know that's my bucket list, you guys tell me about yours I have to play this one again